Today, we're examining five critical lessons in Stoicism frequently learned too late by men. Each of these timeless principles, often only fully appreciated with age and experience, are instrumental in building a resilient and fulfilled life. Providing insights into emotional management, acceptance, and wisdom, this video offers valuable takeaways for any stage in life. So let's get started and explore these fascinating and powerful Stoic lessons. Number one, your emotions are yours to manage, not react to. Our emotional health and wellness play a significant role in our day-to-day -day lives, impacting our thoughts, behaviors, and overall mental well-being. It's important to understand that your emotions are something within your sphere of control, and the responsibility begins with you to manage them rather than just reacting. An essential step in emotional management is acknowledging that emotions are a direct response to our thoughts. Often we react to our emotions without processing what these emotions imply. Reacting impulsively can lead to negative circumstances, like strained relationships or escalating conflicts. Instead, we should aim to manage and control our emotions rather than letting them drive our actions. This is not to suggest an outright denial of feelings. It implies acknowledging them, understanding what they mean, and then choosing an appropriate response. For example, if you are irritated by someone's behavior, instead of lashing out immediately, take time to consider your feelings, try to figure out why you're feeling that way, and then respond in a constructive manner. Managing emotions also means allowing yourself to experience a range of emotions, both positive and negative, without judgment or fear. We all experience sadness, anger, and frustration, but it is crucial to remember that these feelings are temporary. Accepting the temporary nature of emotions helps us to respond appropriately without being controlled by them. Emotions, when managed appropriately, can empower us rather than derail us. They can help us understand ourselves better, improve our interactions with others, and foster more positive mental health. Ultimately, our emotions are not just involuntary responses, but are tools that we can take control of in order to lead a more balanced and thoughtful life. Number two, reputation is out of your control, accept it. Reputation is one facet of life that is utterly beyond our control. We may influence our reputation by behaving in ways that align with societal expectations and moral codes. We can strive to lead virtuous lives that command respect from our peer groups. Despite these efforts, the public's perception of us is always out of our hands. External factors such as hearsay, misinterpretations, and prejudice often distort the public image associated with our name to the extent that it may bear little resemblance to our true selves. Unfortunately, the unpredictability of human sentiments and the ephemeral nature of public opinion make reputation a slippery construct. Stoics argue that focusing too much on one's reputation tends to bring mental anguish and stress to an individual. This is particularly because the wind of public opinion changes direction without any prior warning turning today's heroes into tomorrow's villains. Hence, the acceptance of our lack of control over our reputation is a liberating reality. Once we understand that we can't control the narrative that other people shape about us, we save ourselves from a life of constant anxiety and fear of judgment. This acceptance allows us to live in the present and keep ourselves focused on our actions rather than their perception. Furthermore, coming to terms with the fact that our reputation is not in our control can save us from the attractiveness of false pretenses. We no longer feel the need to pretend to be someone we're not, just to please the crowd. Instead, we redirect that energy to improve ourselves as individuals. Accept that your reputation is not always a genuine reflection of who you are, and you discover a new sense of freedom, unanchored from the whims and fancies of public opinion. Number three, material wealth doesn't bring lasting happiness. The saying, money can't buy happiness, might seem cliche, but it's a timeless piece of wisdom that still holds truth to this day. It's not uncommon for individuals to associate material wealth with happiness and success. The allure of a lavish lifestyle packed with high-end consumer goods and luxuries can be enticing. However, it's crucial to understand that the gratification derived from material wealth is often fleeting. Material possessions, no matter how grand, can only provide temporary joy. The rush of excitement you feel when you purchase your dream car 
or move into a posh neighborhood quickly fades away. No sooner than you acquire one item that you begin craving for the next, newer, or better version. This continuous cycle of desiring more and more is often fueled by societal consumerism, which can lead to an incessant feeling of lack, disappointment, and at times, even distress. True happiness isn't anchored on material wealth. It's not about what you own, but who you are as a person. It's about the relationships you build, the experiences you go through, and the knowledge you acquire. Things that add value to your life and positively affect your self-growth. Moreover, an overemphasis on material wealth could potentially eclipse what truly matters in life like love, friendship, personal growth, and health, amongst other things. Pursuing wealth for the sake of acquiring material possessions often diverts the person from focusing on other important life aspects. On the contrary, a balanced life, which appreciates money's utility but doesn't make it the primary life goal, facilitates an environment conducive to happiness. While it's not wrong to desire comfort and financial security, let's not forget that wealth in itself is only a means to an end, not the end itself. It's the manner in which we utilize wealth that defines its true value. Number four, accept change, you can't control everything. Accept change, you can't control everything, is an essential lesson everyone needs to learn and understand. It's natural to want control over the situations and circumstances surrounding our lives, to steer our life in the direction we prefer. Alas, that isn't always possible. If we continue to cling to the idea of having total control, we are setting ourselves up for constant disappointment and frustration. Life is unpredictable and change is inevitable. No matter how well we plan or prepare, change will always come knocking on our door, sometimes uninvited. We have to remember that we can't control everything that happens to us, but we can always control how we react and respond to those changes. People often fear change because it shakes up our comfort zones and challenges our familiar routines. There is an unknown element to change which can be unsettling, but often this discomfort prompts us to learn, adapt, and grow in ways we didn't know we were capable of. It urges us to become resilient and flexible. This isn't to say that accepting change is simple, it can be challenging, but one of the keys to success and personal growth is to learn to sail through the storm instead of trying to control the weather. It's about focusing on what you can do and letting go of the things that are out of your reach. We can't always have the upper hand, and that's just a fact. But this fact becomes much less scary once we accept it and realize that change, no matter how drastic, is fundamental to our growth and development. So instead of fighting change or fearing it, welcome it, embrace it, and prepare for it. Know that it is part of life's journey. You can't control everything and that's okay. What matters is what you learn along the way. So as life unfolds, remember, you can always adjust the sails, regardless of which way the wind decides to blow. Number five, suffering is often a pathway to growth. Suffering is often a pathway to growth. This may sound counterintuitive, as we naturally strive to avoid pain and discomfort. However, when we view suffering through the lens of personal growth, its true value becomes clear. Let's use the metaphor of physical exercise to further illustrate this. When you begin weight training, you will inevitably experience pain as your muscles stretch and adapt to the new routine. It's not a pleasant feeling, and it may even discourage some from continuing. However, this discomfort is a crucial part of growth. It signals that your muscles are making the necessary adjustments to handle greater stress. It's the pain and discomfort that ultimately lead to the heightened strength and improved physique that you desire. The same principle applies to emotional suffering. The challenges and struggles we face in our lives, whether it's a heartbreak, a job loss, or personal failure, can be extremely painful. However, each instance of suffering also provides an opportunity for self-improvement. They help us to develop resilience, empathy, and courage. They follow us with lessons and insights that we could never have gained without enduring such hardship. It's important to clarify that this is not about glorifying suffering or seeking out pain for its sake. Instead, it challenges us to adjust our perspectives and attitudes towards our own suffering. Rather than seeing it as something wholly negative that needs to be avoided or suppressed, we can respect it as a necessary condition for growth. Remember, 
It's not about the suffering itself, but how we respond to it that can lead to significant personal growth. Each bout of suffering presents not just a setback, but an opportunity to come out stronger on the other side. All in all, life unfolds many profound lessons that help us grow stronger and wiser. But these lessons can often arrive a little later than we'd prefer. It's never too late to learn, but understanding these vital stoic lessons can equip us with the wisdom to lead a more content and balanced life. If you found our video valuable, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. We truly appreciate your support. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.